here we are into November. First of November, and I've got a squishy package from La La Land. Let's, let's break into it, see what it is. It's 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 it's. <clears throat> Alex North's Dragon Slayer, which I've had as a hooky download for years, so it's nice to get that. Um, John Harrison, Day of the Dead. James Horner, Unlawful Entry. And John Morris, The In Laws. That's setting me up for the month. It's Thursday the 2nd. Uh, and on a very rainy and windy day, it's Storm Kieran. Um, something that's just been handed to me by a delivery guy, which I feared might get uh, clobbered by import charges. Thankfully, no. Um, it's a relief. So, <clears throat> this. Uh, it's, it's two things, one of which... I think possibly it's only just been no, I don't know. Uh, one of which I'd already got on a different format, and you're all going to laugh. Um, these two things have come from the United States, and they have come from the Disney Music Emporium. And the main one is is that, which is. Michael Giacchino's A Werewolf by Night. And when I say Michael Giacchino's, it's, it really is Michael Giacchino's because it's, um, it's very much his baby in terms of the film as well as the music. Uh, yeah. Right, so that's a, that's a Marvel slash Hollywood Records slash Mondo co um, production. Uh, and the other one is, well, something I've already got on CD. Um, yeah, it's that. I bought it on vinyl as well. I know, I know, I know. Well, there was a point at which it looked like the CD wasn't going to be available. Um, so I thought, well, failing the CD, I'll buy the um, LP. Which, the release date for this went back and back and back. It went back about three times until it was eventually, um, I think, something like the 25th of October. Um, so it's got to me in about a week <laughs> from the eventual release point. Um, of course, in the intervening time between me placing the order for this, then the, the CD with its limited windows of availability did, did turn up and I did get that. Um, but still. So, you know, this will be a sort of collector piece, perhaps. Um, some of my soundtrack friends are astonished that I don't have the original, um, films on vinyl. So, you know, Raiders and Temple of Doom and whatnot, I've only got on CD. Well, I've got them on CD and cassette, but, um, not on vinyl. So here we are, belatedly, number five on vinyl, at least. So all of this, <clears throat> quite a pleasant uh, internal sleeve for that. Everybody's favourite German. <clears throat> Disc one. Disc two. That old man running. <clears throat> nice credits for all the musicians. <clears throat> Let's open up the Chikino and have a quick look at that as well. Oh. 
Oh, this is in a, a gatefold sleeve as well. Although this is only a single disc, but um, oh hello, what's that? It's got a sort of postcard thing in it, and a OB strip, and uh, there's the internal artwork. Funky. Mm -mm. Oh, one. oh dear, that's sticking a bit. Mm -mm. Okay, this is a, a plainer, plain black inner sleeve. Uh, and regular black vinyl as well. Well, there we are, those have been a while coming. It's Friday the 3rd, this, this is um, in my shed when I got home, so I think this might be my replacement Godzilla. <laughs> Let's have a look and find out. It certainly does appear to be, and there are certainly two discs in the package this time. Uh, do. So here we have the same outside. Here we have the same sides A and B. Uh, so here we have yeah, the second disc, which side C, side D is a, is a print. Work out which way up it's supposed to go. It's a bit like that, I think. Oh yes, now I see it from there. I can see it's the, it's the face and the open mouth. Yes, isn't it? Yeah, so it's a bit unusual to be okay to do that. But there's no music on this side. <clears throat> Try to have that, I shall tell the vendor that the replacement has turned up okay. Hurrah. Well, what is it? It's the 7th. I've ordered 12 second-hand CDs from Wall. Uh, this package has just arrived feels like it maybe contains five of them so we'll see which five these are feels like four jewel cases and a, and a um, digipack perhaps <clears throat> let's have a look okay we've got uh, Dan Jones on Chisel Beach with a load of stickers on it One of which appears to be just a sticker there to cover up a sticker. Mm -hmm. Then we have uh, There Will Be Blood. Because I realised I've only got one thing by Johnny Greenwood and this is possibly one of his most famous ones. So I thought, yeah, I'll get that. Mm -hmm. There's uh, Shadowlands by George Fenton. There's Monsters Inc. Randy Newman with a broken jewel case. And there's Carmen Jones. It's obviously uh, Oscar Hammerstein's adaptation of George Bizet's music. So we'll see if the other seven turn up later. It's Wednesday the 8th and I've got another package which also says it's from Wob. So maybe this is the 
the rest of my order. Uh, certainly going to be some of the rest of the order. Let's see if it's all of it. <clears throat> Just the rest. One, two, three, four, five. So this is, yeah, okay, so this is not all of it, but it's some of it. So let there be Gerd here. We have Gerd. Uh, William Alwyn, Volume 3 from Chandos. I've got 1 and 4. So what's on this edition's... Uh, the Magic Box, The Million Pound Note, The Way Ahead, Swiss Family Robinson, various other bits and bobs. Ah, uh, uh, it's a Carter Burwell, Wonderstruck, whose rear end lay appears to be on upside down. Let's take that out and turn it round, shall we? Better. It's on Lake Shore. Uh, the recent Dad's Army film. Uh, this is the first thing I've got by Charlie Mole. Oh, and it is also completely knackered inside. And you see, no teeth left in there at all. So that will need a new tray. that one away um over the moon which is uh, a netflix thang which has got uh songs on the front half of it but then a bunch of stephen price score tracks on the back half of it um and toy story 2 uh it, it, for a long time i didn't have any of the uh, the toy story scores um, and some time ago I got number four, I think. So it's probably time for me to kind of build that up a little bit, I think. Case on that one is a little bit cracked, but uh, at least the teeth are intact. Right, so that's another five. That's ten out of twelve received. Hopefully the other two will come relatively soon. It's Saturday the 11th. The postman has just delivered enough stuff to require a rubber band around it. Um, some of these are going to be relevant and some not, I suspect. But let's have a look what I've got anyway. Let's open it all up. This one. <clears throat> okay. Uh, first one is a CD of film music. It's, it's Charlie Chaplin's Modern Times. Uh, yeah, it's just kind of filling in some of the back catalogue. This one, I think, is going to be a couple of books. Oh, no, it's a couple of DVDs. Um, you're going to laugh. The original Star Wars trilogy. Whisper it quietly. I've only got those on VHS thought this actually both of these are on the grounds of things my girlfriend hasn't seen i'm not sure that she's actually you can ask what what who is this person um well the other one is also a sort of a trilogy it's ghostbusters um she's never seen ghostbusters and i've never seen ghostbusters afterlife um I missed it when it came out. What was it? Just two years ago. There's another one coming out. There's um, a teaser trailer for it last week. That's that. This is going to be the books, I think. Yes. This is um, Miriam Elia. I think that's how you pronounce her name. Is a sort of artist satirist. Um, who's got her own publisher called Dung Beetle Books. 
because it's a sort of a parody of Ladybird books. Um, so we've got the Dung Beetle Book of Things to Make and Do in a Cost of Living Crisis. And we've got Dung Beetle Well Loved Tales, Marina and the Curse of the Royal Yugoslavian Academy of Art. Uh, I've got um, most of the previous uh, Dung Beetle books. They're quite funny. Uh, now the rest of this I suspect is... Ooh. Okay, a bit more, a bit more film music related, I think. This has come from Invader Records. <coughs> Includes <coughs> a CD of Warning Sign by Craig Safan, uh, and an Invader branded T-shirt which hopefully will be extra large if they've sent me the right one. Yes, it is. Jolly good. This branded WOB, so this will be the last two of my order of 12, where five turned up early in the week, five turned up late in the week. So these are going to be the last two. Which are... Railway Man by David Hirschfelder. Sounds to me like one with, yeah, another one with broken CD lugs, but uh, this looks all right. Uh, and the Assassination of Jesse James by the Coward Robert Ford by Nick Cave and Warren Ellis. Um, yeah. And then this one, let's see if the packing slip on the outside will tell me what it is. It's a Discogs order. Ah, yes, now this one, haha, <laughs> you'll laugh. He's bought almost entirely on the um, basis of the composer's name. I've already got the sequel to this, but not the, the original is a little bit harder to come by, so I found one on Discogs. Um, it's a Christopher Walken movie. It's The Prophecy by David Williams. Yes, I've known for a long time that there was a composer out there with my name on him. Um, I, I got the Prophecy 2 a couple of years ago. So, yeah, I saw the film on the telly um, a couple of years ago as well. So, fun enough thing. Got uh, fingerprints on the back of it. But, uh, yeah, so there's that. Oops, it's upside down. There we are. So, a variety of bits and bobs there. It's Tuesday, November the 14th. Today I have been in London, ostensibly to pick up some hardware from a company client. But while I was up there, I thought I'd um, head to some record shops and have a look around. S soundtrack record shopping is not what it used to be, but... And when I went to London, it was absolutely pelting down with rain which didn't make for a fun day my shirt is still damp um i went first of all in rough trade soho uh they had got nothing at all that interested me it's rather depressing then i went in reckless records um in the vinyl they hadn't got anything interesting either but i picked up a couple of cheap cds um house on haunted hill is a don davis which was um 
four quid. Uh, and then this um, that's Dita Rams. There was um, a sort of documentary about him. Um, and the score for that is by Brian Eno. Rather minimalist disc. There's a disc that comes in a little U shaped sleeve. And then in an inner sleeve and then in an outer. Hmm. sleeve outer sleeve so those are those from reckless records and then I went in sister Ray which was just up the road from reckless records and they've got some vague possibilities um, uh, there's the fantasist so these are at least vinyl. Uh, that's got songs on side one and score by Stanislav Sidoritz on side two. Um, he's quite good. And then there was the Odessa file. I did not know. Do you know who wrote the music for this? Andrew Bloody Lloyd Webber. I did not know that Andrew Lloyd Webber had written a dramatic film score. But he has. <clears throat> so, I mean, there are some other tracks by other people on there, which looks like standards. But, uh, yeah. Who knew? Uh, and then there's a, a Trunk Records... Um, Sunday Bloody Sunday. Is that Ron Giesin or Giesin? I don't know. I've not heard his name said out loud. Uh, yeah. Trunk records are usually fun. Mm -mm. And while I was out, two things were delivered to my house. So let's see what those were. Italian Belli e Brutti Ridono Tutti by Giacomo Dell'Orso. It's one of those with really imaginative track titles. Yes. Uh, and. Will this be breakable into? I'm not sure if it will. Let's just rip it. It's an eBay branded Jiffy bag, so it must be something I bought off of eBay. It's then got cardboard taped up okay blood from the mummy's tomb by Tristram Carey yeah those will keep me going for a while It's Monday the 20th of November, just back from another long weekend away, didn't buy anything whilst away this time, but some things turned up in my absence, so let's have a look at them. This one, this is UK Domestic Mail, 
Okay. Bite my way into that. Oh, I think this was a this was an Oxfam purchase. This was a Arthur Honiger uh, sort of compilation. Regain from 1937. Crime et châtiment. 1934. Crime and punishment, I guess. Le démon de Himalaya, which is on the title on the cover, and Lide. So those are all mid 1930s jobbies. Uh, a Naxos release. Uh, <clears throat> Paid two ninety nine for that. So I've got this one. This is <clears throat> squishy package. This is La La Land. Take the cake slice of doom to the side of that. as usual from these guys. Just two things in here though. Two mules, any Morricone. And I thought I'd have a go at the Quinn Martin Volume 1. What do we got? We've got Goldsmith, Broughton, Grusin, Schifrin, and some other people. Yeah, David Shire, Patrick Williams. This unusual packaging. I'm going to assume that this is still a CD in here and not a slim paperback. That funny, lumpy, corrugated cardboard. Packing slip. Okay, so that tells me what that is. This is another compilation. It is Britain on film uh, and NMC release of sort of film music by Benjamin Britten. Um, yeah. Looks like quite a hefty booklet in there. Uh, yeah, 40 page booklet in that. <clears throat> this is the nightmare of crossing the border, bringing the check in the postal order. You know that one. <clears throat> Well, if you're British, you do. Uh, yeah, documentaries and things. Yeah. And then a box. A box, a box, a box. Okay, this was me deciding to get the solo expansion, which that was already out as a digital download, which I had bought, um, but physical releases are always better, in my opinion, so I was glad to get that and then just shrug your shoulders and pay again. <clears throat> so da is an Intrada. I think I bought that direct from Intrada. Well, there is a second one with it. No, maybe I didn't. Maybe I bought that from SAE. There's the second one that came with it. I thought I would bundle with it. Hierro, which is a Zacharias de la Riva. Thought I'd give that a go. I think it was relatively cheap, so yeah, let's add it on while you're buying the main thing. 
Uh, and this is a movie score media release. So there we are. Uh, De La Riva, Powell, and Williams, Morricone, Britain, Various, Honiga. Those will keep going. It's Saturday the 25th of November. Um, Jiffy Bag has been put through my door from BSX Records. In California. Rip my way into here. Jiffy Bag contains another Jiffy Bag. I suppose it's one way of packaging things. So what we have here is a couple of Christopher Young's. Um, something the Lord made and got the light on that. There we go, Max and Helen. And the Oasis. There. Christopher Young's always good. And these are kind of slightly more obscure jobbies. Same day, I've just been back from a grocery shopping trip in town. Popped in one of the charity shops on the off chance. Found something that I thought I'd, I'd, I'd give it a go. I'd never heard of either the film or the composer. Uh, it's for a pound. It's a thing called Raw um, from 1981. Stars Tippi Hedren and Melanie Griffith, believe it or not. And the composer is a chap called Terence P. Minogue. Um, I've just looked him up. He's American, so he's not any relative of, of Kylie, as far as I can see. Uh, it's got an inner printed sleeve. Um, looks like some of the tracks might be songs. Uh, yeah, but we'll, we'll, we'll see what that's like. Uh, as I say, for a pound, it's worth a pound, isn't it? It's Sunday the 26th. A box has arrived. Um, so let us see what's in it. Put this thing down a little more. This has come from Quartet. We've got a movie score media of The Drift by James Griffiths. We've got, oh, that's open. Uh, 95 by Panu Altio. Uh, and the one that it was really bought for, which is the expanded cliffhanger by Trevor Jones. Hurrah! It's Monday the 27th. One slim envelope received today. Let's see what that one is. It feels like a Digipack CD. Ah oh, yes. Um, it was Ludovico Einaudi's birthday uh, a couple of days ago. Uh, a composer who sort of occasionally dabbles in film scores. Um, the only one I had got by him was Intouchables. Uh, so I've got this one now as well, which is, if you can translate from the Italian there, under a false name. We'll see how that is. And that, my friends, is it for November. Given that I do these at the end of the month, it means that the next time I speak to you, or the next time you see me speaking to you, 
the year will be over because it'll be end of my December collections. So in the meantime, happy Christmas.